Intel told me my next target was Dr. Gunter Kreidel, an expert in rocket engines. He was traveling across town in an armored convoy. We believed he was carrying documents that would lead me to the V2 production facility, where the other three scientists were waiting. I'd identified a point on the route where I could lay a booby trap and stop the convoy. Naturally, the area was defended. I'd expect nothing less. <laughs> booby trap. Alright, let's kill Dr. Cradle then. Which seems a bit unnecessary. Seems a bit harsh. Okay. So, how that guy over there has not spotted us yet, I do not know. But I'm not going to complain. If anything, I'm grateful he hasn't seen me yet. So yes, everyone, welcome back to Sniper Elite V2. The way I'm going to divide this game up is um, I'm pretty much just going to do it as a mission by mission. You know, I'm going to try and aim and do a mission a day. I think it's a crap it. Because I think there's ten missions. So yeah, if I do a mission a day, then this series should be done in about ten days. Okay. Next, pick up the corpse. All right, up you get. There you go, sleepyhead. I'm gonna throw you into the burning building because I don't like you very much. Da, da, da. This is sort of like reverse fire netting. Ah! No! Oh. The fire net got burned. There. Now it looks like the fire killed him. <laughs> it looks like the burning building shot him and not me. Okay. The perfect crime, huh? Let's just see what else we've got going on here now. I do suspect there's going to be a few more Nazis about the place. It does seem strange that uh, this guy is the only soldier in, in Berlin right now. I mean, I know Berlin hasn't fallen just yet and there's a sort of heavy Nazi occupancy and everything, but I mean, how did he get in here? And if he's in here, why didn't he just shove a bunch of other soldiers in here? It's maybe a... Oh, hang on. It's going to be breaking. Alright. They're wandering off, so I guess I'm gonna head on down. I'm gonna try and pick them off one by one once they separate. Um, what was I going to say? I am actually pumped for Resident Evil 6. I am. Um, oh boy, oh boy. Hang on. I can make this cool again. There we go. <laughs> and he's none the wiser down below. Uh, but yeah, I was watching the trailer to Resident Evil 6, and I'm very, very pumped for that game. It will be on my channel. I will be doing a walkthrough for it, so um, yeah, stay tuned for that, and um, if this is your first time ever watching any of my videos, subscribe to me please, because I'll be doing that, Bioshock Infinite, and God of War Ascension, and The Last of Us whenever that comes out, so yeah, lots of good stuff's going to be happening on my channel, and good night Irene, that's right, that man's name was Irene. Thank you. Don't mind me, I'm just rummaging through your dead pockets. Thank you. There. That's just... That's not disrespect, that's respect for the dead for you, because I know they won't want that ammo going to waste. Got myself a new objective. Get past the street patrols. What if I don't want to get past the street patrols? What if I want to go right into the thick of it? I love how it says get past the street patrols as if like there was a way to get past them without killing everyone. And you know something there very well could be. But um, I fully intend on killing everyone down below. I think this is the um, I think this is the demo from the, the level from the demo. I'll find out for sure, I guess, in a bit when I, uh... Hang on. Objective. Yes, this is definitely the, um, the level from the demo. Because this is where you start off in the demo. So, uh... Yeah. We got this going on. I remember you. Shot you right in the head. And everyone else is up the street, I do believe. Maybe I can stand. Nah. Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Well then. We don't want you going on living any longer, do we? No. No, what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna resist the to shoot that guy in the head. 
I'm gonna try and do this semi-properly and semi-professionally. And I'm gonna get a look at the street up ahead and mark my other targets. Yeah, see, so we got that guy, we got that guy, this guy, we got another guy up there, another guy there. Oh, Risen 2! That's another game I'm gonna be doing next month, I do believe. It's out in July, I think. But next month is June, no? What month is it? Is it June now? January, February, May. No, it's May now. And it's out in July, so that's two months away. God, I lost complete. <laughs> lost complete track of time there. Alright, so I'll be doing Risen 2 as well. Uh, I just have an RPG on my channel. Because uh, I had Skyrim. But uh, Skyrim's a tough one to do because it's. Um, you know, there's a lot of grinding that you need to do, and there's a lot of wandering, so it takes forever to, to edit it and everything like that, so. I was going to do Demon Souls, I was going to throw up a bit of Demon Souls, because uh, that game, no game pisses me off more than Demon Souls. But uh, unfortunately, I cannot find my copy, and I don't think I traded it in for anything, so I don't know where that could be. Any hoodly, let's get some killing going on, shall we? <laughs> I think I just took half his face off. Alright, I think I may have gotten their attention. It's just a feeling. Oh no, it says silent but deadly. I was anything but silent. I was quite deadly, but I was anything but silent. Alright, peekaboo, who's next? You, sir. One thing I have to say is that the uh, the kill cam, especially the X-ray one, never gets old. It really never does. I, even if it did it for every single shot you took in the game, it wouldn't even. If anything, it just enhances it for me. Oh, I hate moving targets. Oh, in the thigh. I don't even think he's dead. I don't think you can call it a kill unless I hit an artery or something. Then I guess he's dead. Otherwise, he's just severely wounded. Ow. That was uncool. I just want to jump on back up there. Get a higher vantage point and a little bit more cover. That's what I need. Ow, ow. Oh, damn it. Machine gun. Alright, I know how to deal with your kind. I was bluffing, I have no idea how to do this. Oh, we got him. Right. Let's see if you guys have a lot. There he is. Oh. oh, yeah, we got him. There's another guy just around that building. But he was tagged and everything. And... Oh, God, he's coming for me, I'd say. Oh, shit. Who? Where am I being shot from? Ah, oh, damn it. I guess that's what I get for being careless and reckless and all those other fun things that no one likes. Bah. I see no reason to waste time anymore. This worked out well for me in the demo, this approach. So, I don't see why it wouldn't work out well for me in this one. In the actual game. Sneaky Peeksy does it. Sneaky Peeksy does it. They don't even know I killed the guy. What sort of highly trained so soldiers are these guys? I almost said special forces, but they're not special forces. They're Wehrmacht. They're your standard army. Your standard grunts. Alright. Who wants to be lucky victim number two? I almost said number one. Completely forgot about the guy I just shot. No respect for him whatsoever. You get to be lucky victim number two. And I missed you. And I missed you again. But oh, I don't know where this is going to hit you, but I know you deserve it. Oh my god. Alright, maybe he didn't deserve it. Um, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and say he didn't deserve it. No man deserves that. Actually, I read a story um, just the other day. I read a story. It was um, a woman, I think it was in America. 
Um, she killed the man. But get this right, what happened was she pulled up outside of, um, I think the guy owned the shop and she pulled up outside of it on a scooter. I'm pretty sure this was in America. So anyway, she pulled up outside on her scooter. And the guy came out saying, you can't park outside my store, because obviously, you know, she, as far as I can tell, she literally had it parked up right in the entrance to the guy's shop. So he came out and saying, you can't park here, you know, obstructing the entrance and everything. And uh, they had a bit of an argument, a bit of an exchange of words, which got more and more heated as it went on. And uh, for some reason, she decided that it was the mature thing to do to grab his balls and squeeze them, to really kind of get her point across. Only, she squeezed his balls for so long and so tightly, his heart stopped and he died. Yeah, the man is dead. Death by ball squeeze. Isn't that a horrible story? Uh, I really don't like that woman. I really don't. I, I can see how it would kill him, I mean. The pain and everything. It would probably kill me. Oh. <laughs> right in the head. He was just looking at his feet. He was probably just looking for his glasses or something. Oh, there we go. This is a kill shot. Right in the chesticle. Did I kill him? He's dead. Kill. Alright, we're good. Um, so yeah, I'll be doing Resident Evil 6. And as far as I know, it's confirmed two-player, like co-op, uh, like it was in Resident Evil 5. Um, which makes me really, really happy. Because, um, uh, there's... My main problem with PS3 games, I remember from the demo there was a sniper up here. I don't know if they have him in the full game. I'd say they do. I definitely remember him in the demo. Um, but yeah, I, uh, like, oh, <laughs> hello. <laughs> Hang on, he doesn't even know I'm here. Oh, he, he spotted me, he spotted me. Too little too late, my friend. Too little too late. But, um, yeah, because me and Jess, we, I like, we love playing through games together cooperatively, but the PS3 has a complete lack of co-op games. I mean, it really pisses me off to this day how the PS3 is like, oh, you can play with like 40 people online in deathmatch. But if you want to play with the person sitting next to you, no. Apparently technology has only come so far. I mean, come on. Online gaming is great and everything, but every game should still have you being able to play with the person sitting next to you. That's part of the fun of console gaming. But, um... Yeah, because we played through Resident Evil 5 together. I played as Chris, saying he has the same name as me. And there's our sniper doodle, and uh, she played through as Sheva. But um, it was great fun. It really was great fun. We enjoyed it. So I'm delighted to see Resident Evil 6 as two-player. I just hope they don't change it before it's released. Mm. Ow! Stop shooting me! It's just rude. The height of disrespect. I just need to. I just need to do a quick pop up and shoot him. Bag him and tag him. Where is it? Oh, there he is. I gotcha. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I think that was through the nose, through the navel cavity. It's clear those sinuses right up though. Ready. Got some airplanes going on. I still think it's strange that this guy is the only soldier, the only allied soldier in all of Berlin. It also kind of sucks because it means I've got no allies, it's just me, all by my lonesome. Alright. Ideally, I'm going to try and kill him hand to hand, given the old personal approach. Alright. Easy does it. And next snap! There. He, he, he's just sleeping, kids. He's just sleeping. He's fine. Tag you. Just so I can keep my eye on you. Know where you are. Your whereabouts at all times. Let's take a look out this window. It's got you, 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 you. All right. Okay. 
gonna try and kill this guy silently before I take out the other guys. Hey! Oh, damn it! Come on! Well, that couldn't have been any less of a success if it tried. That was a complete and total unmitigated unsuccess. It's the only way it could be described. Oh, oh, hello. Down you go. Alright, well, the Thompson seems to pack a fair bit of a punch. Not exactly a fortune in ammo. Uh, I don't think the game really wants you to use it. This is given to you in case you do need to use it in close quarters. Hello. See, that's why it's so handy to tag them. You can keep an eye on them and run around the walls. Alright. Got at least one more tagged guy to kill anyway. When he is dead, the coast may very well be clear. Down you go. Alright. I think we're doing okay. Oh shit, we're not okay, we're not okay! Far from okay, damn it. 